Of all the things you've worked on, what ended up being the toughest shot that you did on one of these sets? The one that just really, you know what I mean? The one, whether it be yeah. camera moves, whether it be um, whatever it may be. That's a that's a really good question. And weirdly, I think it, even though it's not a single shot, it's a sequence, and I love the sequence, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. Uh, but physically, the most enduring. Um, uh, it's so much of an endurance race was a Mission Impossible helicopter sequence uh, because it was so extremely cold, um, literally above the Southern Alps in winter with the doors open on a helicopter. And I'm sticking my face into the wind and firing blanks with all sorts of stuff flying back at me and just doing it over and over and over again, completely deaf, just waiting for the pilot to scream something inaudible and do this which meant we're rolling. And so I had to then just keep on acting with my head out the window until I assumed that they had stopped shooting. And so I was watching either Tom's helicopter in front or behind and watching the camera ship as well to see when the camera ship kind of pulled away and did its own thing. And I was like, okay, I think that means I can sit back in now. And I'll do that for 40 minutes, then land, and then sit by uh, a little uh, like red rad heater, warm my hands up, and within half an hour, they're like, right, we're refueled, let's go again. And it was just having to to suck it up and do that for, I think it was at least two weeks. Um, but that was that was rough. But I absolutely love the sequence and it was so worth it. There's nothing worse than spending all of your energy and time and heart and soul trying to do something and the other ingredients aren't there. But on a Mission Impossible movie, oof. I mean, all the ingredients are there. And so it was such a pleasure to do.